Well, you know, uh, I purposely, when I was getting ready for this record, it, I, I treated it different than any other I've done. I uh, moved to Atlanta when I turned 30. And, um, oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so I moved to Atlanta, mm -hmm. and uh, I was asking God, God, what's next? You know, and everyone I speak to was like, yo, I lost my car, I lost my job, or I can't get in school, I can't get financed, or I'm going through this. And everybody was going through something. So I purposely wanted to do a project, not just a song, that will point people back to the source and not the resource. So when I was getting ready for this project, you know, one of my little brothers that I mentor as a writer, Darius Polk in Atlanta, Georgia, um, he is a great writer, 24 years old. Uh, I was telling him about, you know, this sound I wanted to do. He's like, well, man, you know, you know, I, I lost my car, you know, lost my job, lost my apartment, and just moved into a new apartment. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just going through some stuff, and he started writing this song. It started as a prayer. And I was like, that's the song. That's the sound, you know, that, that God wants to get into the earth, not just for those of us that are in church, but for everyone, you know, to understand that regardless of what you go through, regardless of what you see, there is nobody greater. Uh, when I recorded the song back in 2009, I knew something different. I knew that night, I said, you know, I said, God, I don't know what you're saying. I didn't know it was going to be number one for so long. I didn't know it was going to become this, this anthem around the world, but I knew something different. Uh, so when it was going to radio, when it was coming out, you know, I was adamant on this is the sound. This, this is what, what God is speaking, you know, in this season. And uh, so it's been a great year so far going around and, and God trust me with such a big sound, you know, to, to uh, wake up one day and Marvin Wine and, and Donnie McClurk and B.B. Wine and everyone singing the song that I recorded. You know, these are guys I look up to for many, many years. I think Marvin Wine is one of the best singers in the entire world to, to sing Nobody Greater. And it's just become one of those songs that preachers and kids and, you know, everyone, c you can relate to it because, you know, we all search for something, you know, and, uh, but we realize that everything we search for, God is still the greatest. Amen. Amen. And of course, uh, the CD that we are talking about is Triumphant. Yeah. Which is a which is a fabulous CD, and I hear it's going to get an ex a deluxe edition, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in uh, in the program. Now, of course, when I first saw uh, the the performance video, yes, you could tell it was something very very special about that night uh, that that it was recorded. Now, uh, talk a little bit about the concept video and how that was that was created for Nobody Greater. Oh, cool. I, I'm very hands-on. Uh, I've been, as you know, I've been around for a long time working behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of knew what I wanted to do, what I didn't want to do. I learned from others' mistakes and other successes as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to do a video, and um, I met with uh, a couple of producers and directors. Um, but there was one producer that I that I met. Uh, that had the vision that I that I wanted to. I didn't want to do like a whole bunch of stories or people battling stuff and all that. We know what the storyline is to so everyone's life. I just wanted to kind of you know show the whole how we walk through life. And um, I want to walk through New York, one of the biggest cities, one of the most massive cities in the world. And how we search all over. Uh, if you notice on the video, you know when you look at the beginning of it, the twin towers are missing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's it's a it's a big bigger story than the video can actually pull across. But it's that we we walk through life. We walk through this big place big buildings around we can search all over for everything. We're searching for love. We're searching for families. We're searching for relationships. We're searching for jobs. We're searching for our, our, our well-being or our place in life, you know. But at the end of our search, there's still nobody greater. And when we put our trust in God, then the search is over because he will lead us to where we're going. So that's what the concept video is about. Everyone likes it. You know, I'm, I'm really glad that, that the message is coming across. A lot of people think it look good and all that, but I really wanted to spread the message about the search. You know, it wasn't just it wasn't just about walking around New York and having fun and some good shoes and all that. <laughs> it was really about, you know, kind of pulling people back. Yo, yo, we can go through all this and all that, but, you know, we, we search for everything. Our, that's that's the message. You know, we search for a lot of things, um, but there's still nobody greater than God. Excellent, excellent. And, and it is a very, it's a very uh, good video. It, it really does... Uh, and capture the the spirit of the of the song, and uh, and that was your intention. You did it. Awesome, okay? awesome. Yeah, you 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 guys really really did that. Um, and being at the side of the twin towers, yes, the story is much uh, bigger that you that anybody could capture on on film or on video or, or however that that does work. Now you've uh, done a lot over the past week, including. Uh, the Essence Music Festival this past yeah. weekend. Uh, tell us a little bit about that experience. My first time at the Essence Music Festival, I was able to uh, minister Nobody Greater at the Walmart booth. Uh, and I didn't know what to expect. I had never been uh, to Essence before. But, you know, first of all, 
and his ambassador was in my hotel. So I just want to let everyone know that. <laughs> and she walked past me, and I didn't know it was her until she left. But that's a whole other story. But uh, <laughs> just to be at Essence and be able to uh, be around this great crowd of people. Uh, one thing about this song that I'm really, uh, I, I'm church. I, I'm born and raised in church all my life. But there are people that are really, really inspired and encouraged and uplifted by nobody greater that may not walk into the four walls of a church. And to see, you know, uh, at the Essence when I started singing, Nobody Greater, and just to see people just coming over from everywhere, stopping and singing Nobody Greater. The track was off and the audience was still singing it, even with, you know, the booty shakers over there and, the, you know, it's, you know, it's a lot of things going on, the hairdressers over here. It was a crowd of people, hundreds of people singing Nobody Greater. Uh, it was just a great experience and I believe that, you know, it, it's kind of marking history that, um, you know, gospel music, you know, has life. You know, gospel music has life beyond what we, what we even know and it's blessing the, the nation, not just, you know, us as church. And 